Hey, it's Ken Barrel Laundromat How To, deep in the heart of the back of the dryers. We got one uh, Dexter dryer here. We've been having problems with it for a while. Of just uh, it'll run once or twice, and then it'll kick out on an overheat sensor. Let me just show you where that sensor is. The high temperature sensor. It's actually back inside of here. You can reset it if you take a little small. Um, I use a little small screwdriver with a wooden handle on it. And just push it in there, and you'll hear it click. And uh, we've replaced that. We've replaced a few things, and just haven't been able to get it to work. So I got talking to one of the, the techs from uh, Dexter and what he explained was, I got the cover off the back here. As you can see, that's what it would normally look like with the cover over the motor and that. So try and get back in here. I got this cover off and uh, what he's saying is this ductwork back in here can actually get plugged up over time. So in order to get to that, you've got to take off, take your belt off, take off this upper pulley and then just uh, pull the bolts out, get that duct out, and he says uh, to vacuum out up top here and then down through there in that whole ductwork. So in order to get that off, we gotta grab our electric impact and see if it fits on there. What we've got on there is, uh, check the size on here. Bear with me, I know it's a little wobbly, but it's our roll. It's an uh, inch and a half socket. And I just took the half inch socket and then stepped it up to the, the inch and a half. So that's what we need. These things, I bought this one at Harbor Freight. It was pretty cheap. I'll give a link below this somewhere to get one. Um, I just leave that socket in the box because this is the only thing I ever needed on. I may use it once in a while on something else, but this is what it was bought for, is to pull that off. Had a problem once before where uh, I had to get that pulley off. I forget just what it was. I'll put the link below here when I remember what it was, it was a bearing or something back in there. So I had to get that pulley off and this is what I needed to do it. So again, they're fairly inexpensive from Harbor Freight. And uh, if you ever want to do any own maintenance on these, you're going to need it to get in there. Um, from what they said on the newer ones, they've actually got a, it's just a nut on there, but it's a pressed on pulley. So you're going to need a, a gear puller to get it off. But this one, you just pull that, pull that nut off, take it off and we'll get into that ductwork. So I'll pull that out of the way and then show you the next step. So a little deeper now, we got that uh, pulley off there. Once we get that end off, you can see there's a couple of, uh, there's a keyway on here. Sometimes it get a little rusty, depending on how long it's been on there. So you just gotta wiggle the wheel back and forth a little bit until it comes off. So back in here, we can see we got some dust we're gonna clean up. A few other items to point out. Um, back in there, that's your, uh, your airflow switch. So what that does is just confirm that you've got airflow. Once you start moving a bit of air, that pulls shut. That allows the burner to light. Without that, you're not gonna get your burner to light. And really what it's just indicating is that your fan has started. Um, it's not an indication of any certain amount of airflow. Once it starts, it starts. So the idea is detecting whether your motor is running or you possibly have a broken belt. So on to the next level and uh, we'll get that duct pulled out. All right, so we get, did a bit of vacuuming and got the duct off. A couple of screws come out of the top and then the duct just slides out of that hole in there. So looking inside here, it is pretty nasty. It's not plugged like I expected it would be. But uh, you know, we do have a bunch down in there and it's gonna be kind of hard to see up in there, but the box up top, they said to clean it out too. And uh, if I just reach up in there, you see I can pull out handfuls of lint. So this stuff, uh, it's obviously been a while since somebody's been in here, maybe never. But uh, that's the stuff there you want to get out. You know, the more of that's out, the better airflow you're going to have and just better all over operation, overall operation. So, I got my shop back, back there. I'll put the link for that little shop back in the show notes too. Uh, you know, it's a small vacuum, but it's got an 18 foot hose, so you can get it out of the way. I think they gave you a big hose to get it far enough away, you don't have to listen to it. But uh, it'll be a good little vacuum to get up inside of here and get everything cleaned out. So I've actually got four of these stacked dryers, so that makes eight of these in total. Uh, see how many I get done today and we'll work on the rest another day. So not sure if that's exactly what the problem is, but we'll get it cleaned out. We'll try this one out again. But at least we know this is done and clean and if that's not it, then we can move back to sensors. And uh, the next way would be to start moving individual sensors from the top to the bottom and see which one the problem follows. So. That'll be it for now, but like I said, we're going to get this cleaned up and uh, hope that helped out. If you got any comments or questions, please let me know. 
this and other information you can be found at laundromathow2.com. Have a great day.